Six people were hospitalized after a head-on crash on Kamehameha Highway in Haula. First responders tell us that four of them were listed in serious condition. The crash happened around 9 p.m. The victims ranged in age from 18 to 56. We spoke with police at the Kahuku substation, and they say that right now the cause is not clear. A man has been arrested in a suspected kidnapping case. Police say he is charged with unlawful imprisonment and assault. The suspect is a 37-year-old man. Now, the details are vague, but police say that the assault he assaulted a 31-year-old man and then took him against his will to a different location. The victim reportedly had minor injuries but is expected to be okay. This happened around midnight yesterday at a home in the 86,000 block of Farrington Highway in Waianae. The suspect was arrested several hours later. Bail is set at $500. An outpouring of support for a Big Island family after a teen drowned in, a, in Kailua Kona on Monday. Loved ones of Johan Choi say they are devastated and heartbroken by his untimely death. The 17-year-old and three friends were diving near Hokulia Public Beach Access, but Choi never made it back to shore. His family says that he was an expert swimmer and he went spearfishing often. Although we might not see the purpose or God's plan in this tragedy, we firmly believe that his death wasn't pointless at all. He had a greater purpose, and that was to share the word of God with everyone he encountered. Choi was about to start his senior year at Kealakehe High School, and he was active in the Youth with a Mission organization at the University of the Nations. The family has a GoFundMe page if you'd like to help. You can find that link on our website. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency is hosting a community meeting tonight. They're going to be joined by Navy officials. Now, the group will review Red Hill information and provide updates on the defueling, the closure, and assure that the drinking water is safe. The main goal, though, tonight is to establish a group that speaks on behalf of the community when it comes to issues concerning Red Hill. Now, the public is invited to come and comment. That meeting is tonight from 5 to 7 p.m. at Aliamanu Middle School on Salt Lake Boulevard. If you are not able to attend, you just want to watch, you can find the link to stream that meeting on our website, hawaiinewsnow.com. And as far as the surf, it remains rather small. We might have some shoulder high waves in town with choppy uh, waves on the east side. And uh, this uh, breezy trade and weather, well, it's not going to quit anytime soon. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.